Alright, everybody, what's going on? Adam Agger here. This is my game, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth on Genesis 4. Still joined by uh, uh, Uncle Potato and Uncle Ness Ness Master. And uh, his new wife. <laughs> She's nine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gunberg. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to put it on uh, the beginner for the nine lives. Which I will probably make the nine lives in the first level. So the thing about this, this is, um, you see this red ship? You will lose if you pick it. You see this blue ship? You will win if you pick it. Yeah, everything's maxed out on the blue one. Yep. Why would you pick anything else? <laughs> exactly. Like it just, just anything else <laughs> the, just makes the, the green. Game the green one is good too, but it's like slow. All right, so I use the, uh, the the joystick. You can you can change it to the uh, um, D pad if you want, and then the L and R's will do your special moves. But um, I don't know. I prefer the joystick, and I know I'm in. The minority of the, uh, the one other person I know who plays this game <laughs> said that the that the D-pad was the way to go. So we can, um, if you let them shoot, you can reflect bullets with this uh, shield, and the Z button is your bomb, which you use uh, very sparingly and most of the time, or yeah, most of the time on the thing. And best of all, boom, display is gone. Nice. Yeah. So, and it's not, the the Z button isn't really a bomb, it's your extra arms, which is basically just like a fucking murder cannon. I wish you could get rid of the menu and like all shrimps, that'd be great. Oh, absolutely, it's an I amazing... Mean, that, that how, be how often do you have the time to look at a menu? Yeah, and the menu doesn't even tell you like how many X arms you have or anything in anyway, so... Well, actually, I think it does. Like, there's but, bullets flying everywhere, let me take a second. How many bombs do I have? Five. Okay, I'm gonna want to reserve at least two of those. Yeah. Let oh. me get back to the game now. In that meantime, I've actually died three times, so those bombs have reset several times. So, how so I know every time I die, I have three. Three. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Three. <laughs> so um, I'm not gonna do any of the uh, the special exits um, in the in this playthrough, but I did do a bonus video where I showed them all off because they were really hard. Um, but honestly, like if I was doing, if I was doing a run like for the channel, I would try to skip the third boss because the third boss, out of all seven levels, is the hardest boss in the game, and he's such a fucking dick. So, yeah, you do not want to be in the middle of that. You can be, but you have to bomb your way out. And that's bad news. So since I have three X arms and two bombs, we're not going to see much of uh, this guy. It's pretty badass looking. Though. So we're gonna robot. So we're gonna we're gonna bomb and we're gonna X arm. And then uh, hey, you took away my We're gonna X arm and he's dead. Oh. So you have bombs, X arms, and a reflective shield. So you're pretty much god tier always. So that's awesome. And you can see I have the max lives. Um, so you can do it on and it reset on its own. Oh my god. I don't know why. So it happened again because Ness keeps farting. Um, they keep shitting out. Or that I'm just playing this game too fucking awesome. I don't know what it is, but I actually changed uh, 64s. And I have another 64 for backup right here. And if this fails, well, then I'll just get another 64 because I, you know, I, got, I got enough of them. So, um, <laughs> But yeah, we got a lot of bloopers this week. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's every time you s successfully do something, Ness gets excited, and that excitement <laughs> triggers the... It and triggers then, a lot of problems. Every, and then that's a chain reaction to this getting reset. Everything, including Ness, Ness, Master, is shitting on my dreams today. You're welcome. I don't remember Wait, what uh, I... S you didn't switch the difficulty, did you? Uh, I think I did. I should have. I don't... No, I have all nine lives, so yes. Oh, okay. I'm not playing as well. The thing about this game is this game is really hard if you let them shoot. If you don't... Quick shot everything. Pretty yes. And I've played it enough to do so. And I'll let you play it so you guys can kind of get a feel. I'm gonna get rid of that. That's what I was Yeah, I really... So you heard that, I got an extra life even though I had all nine lives already. So does it does the, does the it stay at nine lives if you lose one it's still nine? Or does it actually... No. no it caps out at nine. Maybe more points for picking up another life. Yeah. You do actually 
actually have to shoot those. I thought that they just kind of like went away when, as you approached them, but no. <laughs> so if you do that special entrance there, you'll go down and set them up, and then you'll get to skip the boss, but you have to fight the boss in the secret stage. Not really beneficial. See, it doesn't feel like a vertical shooter except for this small section right here. But it, it is a vertical shooter the whole time. I'm like, no, man, it goes... Wait. <laughs> it's just that perspective. I, th I think they use it really well. So I do it. They kind of did that same kind of feel for right before. Yeah, a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember it turned that. around to different things. And I mean, you get, like, I don't use my shield very often because I don't like to let them pop shots. But even if they do and I get a little overwhelmed, you can just, like, sh shield reflect out of it. Uh, and you get huge bonuses for doing the shield reflections. So, like, if you are doing, like, a high score, you do want to do a lot of shield reflections. But that's just not how I play. So this is a guy, like, I can shoot both of his wings off either side of him. And make this match really, really long. Or you you can just shoot the core in the middle. Gotcha. So what I want to do is I want to do the bomb to open up the core, and then I should be able to shoot the uh, the X. And now I have two of them, my extra arms. Which sucks because you can't see the fucking bullets when you do it. So how hard would a pacifist run be? I don't, you know, I think you can, but I don't know about the boss. Well, That's yeah. awesome. The boss you'd have to. Yeah, I think you do have to... But everything else you can't pacifist. It would be really... Maybe it wouldn't be too hard if you're really good at reflecting. So you see the rolling bonus? That's my rolling shield. <laughs> that score is ridiculous. Oh, I can do better. 500 billion, 327... Oh, I'm the first level. <laughs> first level, done. Well, it's like, what was Giga Wing was like... I mean, yeah, it had, had numbers was, that didn't exist. Yeah, it was like over. It was like. It was like trillions. No, it was Quad over trillions. trillions. <laughs> yeah, it was fucked up. So this is how you get to the secret in, the, in this level. It happens right at the beginning, so it's super beneficial. And you go over everything instead of actually going inside and fighting the boss. So you can beat this level in less than a minute. But that's this is the hardest special to get, and it takes you to a throwback stage. So this, we have entered the place where it's like, if you do not have full power, you're fucked. Like, if you do not kill these guys, like, pretty quick, you're in a lot of trouble. Because these bullets are slow, they stay on screen for fucking ever. That's kind of cool. We can bust down doors. And this is level, we're at level 3, right? I can't, I can't tell because I'm... Said twice. <laughs> yeah, that's mission three. That's mission. Uh, yeah. So this this is the worst boss in the game, and this is the only reason I play on beginner, honestly, because I need the lives for if this goes south. Perhaps red south. If you pick the if you pick the uh, if you pick the red ship, you lose. <laughs> red is a loser's color. I fucked up. I had to try those. I fucked up. I don't have to buy me out of this. No, you just can't do it very often. Like, there's, like, there's a cool thing. So yeah, Dark Force is a fucking dick. Because he will go off screen half the time. So it's like a tank on rails. Oh no, he's just roaming around doing whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. That is bullshit. So I can't shoot him back there. Um, especially not with blue. And he will actually go off screen for this whole section. And you, you have a large hitbox on this, this character. This isn't even the, best, the worst part. The worst part is when he's in his final stages. So we're gonna bomb again. Then we're gonna. Oh. Whoa! Alright, so this part. Fuck! I don't know how I should go. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. I'm okay with it. Nice! That was the best I've ever done that. Because awesome. those, those are so big, and you don't know where they're going to go, and you can get trapped. Those blue balls were gigantic. Yes. <laughs> A 
enormous blue balls. Maybe you should call his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna call that Uncle Matter Fuck instead of Dark Matter. Or Dark or Uncle Force. Oh wait, no, that's not good. Uh, Uncle Matter. Uncle For- no, fuck. Force Uncle. Damn it. Why'd you bring Gunbird? <laughs> he wanted to talk about it! I've never seen that ending! I've never done the two-player! <laughs> We're trying to do it justice! Instead, we offended millions. Of okay. uncles. Either way, for what? Uncle. He's like, go oh, back to. The <laughs> <laughs> go back to this. I think this game is actually really cool. This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah, this is great. And I mean, you can pick it up for over 10. Which is awesome considering it's the only one on 64. Yeah. The only schmuck. Unless, unless there's some Japanese ones we want to look at. I've, I'm pretty familiar with the Japanese library, and I do not think there is one. Yeah, you're definitely the guy I go to when you think about 64 stuff. Yeah, which is kind of a bummer, because I was hoping they would at, least, at the very least have another Star Soldier game. But Star Soldier, I mean, they usually make one game for each console. Like, they had the NES, they had the Super Star Soldier. And they did it for this, and then they stopped. Was the 64 even very big in Japan? They had a lot of games we didn't get. I mean, because, like, but every, so every time I went to a, a used game shop, I never saw much for... 64 stuff. That's because the Americans are it. I mean, shit ton of Famicom, Super Famicom, all that kind of stuff. Not really anything for the 64. So in this one, I gotta not kill those green guys and then kill all these red guys to get the final stage. Which is, yeah, kind of tough to do. And this one isn't beneficial because it takes you to the throwback stage that is like harder, harder than you. Yeah. yeah, the second, the level three is the most beneficial because it ends the level super early and the boss in the special stage level two is a lot easier than that third level boss. Although I made that boss look like a fucking chump today, so. So that wasn't too bad. And they don't stop shooting, so I can't kill them at the points. See, the thing I like about this game is they actually do give you the chance to stop the fucking assholes beforehand. Which other games is like, oh, I'm on screen, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, it's, it's like it's immediately when a pixel up and comes on screen, like bullets aren't already coming out. So this is probably, this is a good training game for if you want to master patterns. Like, what do I got to do where? It's like, oh, I can kill these guys and then, you know, fly past this guy. I want an XR. Bomb XR in this gun. I did it backwards. Because I want to take his side things out. Yeah. And then, yeah. I, and then I go for the core. So. But that's fine. So you don't even get to see all of the, like, different, like, transformations if you, murder face? if you fight them. He can play the bass with his dick. I tried that once. I just bloodied my dick up real bad. I was like, BOOM! Ah! Didn't help that my strings were really rusty. I enjoy my penis! <laughs> People are googling Murderface right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? He sounds like that and plays the bass with his dick? The hell? I can play this game with my dick. <laughs> right, so the reds come towards me. So yeah, dig that jazzy groove. The music is really good. <laughs> that would be a good rip tone. Dude, brilliant idea. Alright, so this distracts me because I don't remember what I can kill and what I can't sometimes. Oh, bullshit. So you probably just saw there that, like, I probably could have... It looked like I could have dodged that bullet and I still shielded. That's how big my hitbox is. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's pretty much like a big square. Uh, 
I don't know how I didn't die there. <laughs> I just got two lives. <laughs> <right there. laughs> Alright, let's see this guy back in shot. That's a good way of going. So this is very misleading because it almost mm, shit. This is very misleading because when those things popped out, it makes you feel like you were supposed to follow that little narrow trail. Like, I didn't know if the sidewalls would hurt you or not. Shit. The sidewalls don't hurt you. Yeah. I always hate that about uh, schmucks. It's like, you never really know whether or not you have to the background it. or not yeah, hurts you. Have to you. Test it. The background and the... That was a cool mechanic. The background. The story one, it still kept the electric, electric chain. On a couple of Gundams, you got a perfect game. The bosses are pretty good too, but you don't get to see. It. This guy, you actually do get to see all his forms because he's really tough. Falcon. He just took out White Base. No. Yeah, if he hits you with that, you're fucked. He will. He will destroy everything. Else. Holy Did shit! Did he just say intergalactic? Ugh, oh, damn it, really? Wow, that fucking sucked dick. I practiced this game so I wouldn't suck dick live. Alright. Fuck my hands, Charlie. Nice. He was supposed to, like, do a force field that trapped me in the middle. And, like, he didn't do that for some reason. But I still have Nightmare, so who gives a shit? Right now, high five. <laughs> now. I thought you just blew up. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the end. This is the final mission, actually, right? Uh, no. The, there is, there's seven missions, but the final mission is just the boss. Oh, okay. Wow. It's hard to commentate. Okay. That's okay, I can't expect this much. Wouldn't that be funny if there was like a shmup where you like went through the whole game and the ending was you have to die? <laughs> it's called Final Fantasy. <laughs> Final Fantasy shooter. I thought there was one where you had to like go into this void and die. Game of Thrones the shmup. Wait! Don't you- No, you just lose all your friends first. <laughs> you lose all your friends first and then you die. Don't you have to die in... Otomatus? When you go back in time, like, don't you have to go into the void to kill the final boss? Well, you went back in time to keep the shit from happening in the first place. Yeah, but I thought you couldn't get back and you, like, died or something. No, you got back. Or, I'm pretty sure. Because there was always, like, a happy dab. When you didn't get the true ending. Oh, okay. Did you have to, like, beat that without getting hurt to get the true ending or something? I can't remember. I can't remember. I almost, I almost did a deathless run of that. But wow. Yeah. yeah. What you need to do is you need to equip the up laser against the final boss, and then you just camp underneath her and up laser her to death. She's like the only hard part of that game. But yeah, I crashed into a fucking asteroid. <laughs> we the entire run in the last level, and I never went back. That's one of those things where it's... Alright. So if you don't do that there, the flamethrower will more than likely kill you. You should die. Oh, I don't have another XR. Oh, because I died. It's okay. That's awesome though that like the enemy thing is like a prism kinda like Raiden. Kinda like Gateway. <laughs> Why has everything gotta be a weird prism thing that's just a, a diamond that controls everything? What do spaceships hate? Prisms. <laughs> the natural enemy of the, of, of the spaceship. He's giving me my lowest score right now. In space, the natural enemy of the ship is a prism. <laughs> God damn it. It shoots light. It destroys life. The one place no ship can go to is prism universe. That everything is a prism. Death upon travel. I can definitely see what you mean by how this is more like a train or a Just because it seems to give you a fair amount of... You know, like, 
think. Oh, this is coming. Split second to think, but enough time to actually react. Yeah. And plus, if you do kill things fast enough. How is this on its, like, most difficult? Are things just faster? Or... You just get less lives. Just less lives. Less lives and it takes more points to get more lives. Gotcha. So now I want to look and see if, like, they ever faced a, a giant prism in Star Trek. Wait, how do you avoid that? You can stay in the middle. Because they... Like, cro they crossed over each other. Then. Yeah, but... It doesn't look like it, but it's there. Oh, okay. I promise you. <laughs> I believe you. Shit. Fucking box. Dual score version 9.8. Shit, this needs an update. Yeah, I know. My dual score is on version 12.3. Oh, <laughs> 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 you look familiar. I am fucked. I have, like, nothing to hit this guy with. Oh, shit. Guy, guy. Power up. Oh, dicks. What? You barely nicked him. Yeah, well, your hitbox is huge. What? Those are supposed to be. Those are supposed to be gone. I destroyed them. And that's another. No, in version 9.6, he had. Uh, he had extras. Fucking funnels. All right, I'm gonna See, actually upgrade. Do... They got rid of those. I'm actually gonna do a competent fucking way to this, so you guys fucking know. The more I fucking practice, the more I suck. There you go. Funnels should be gone. Maybe. Awesome. These suck. You can't dodge them. As a dodge. Because they're so big. The worst thing is, this is his, like, final, like, struggle attack, so he never stops until you kill him. Or you die. Nice. That, it's, that's, like, that struggle attack and the last one from the tank guy are, like, the worst in the game. But that one isn't so bad, because normally you can pop your, uh, X-arm if you don't fucking die like a fucking nub. And kill him really quick. And that sweet notepad text format. How many lives do I have? Do I have one there? Oh, there's a big attack. I hope I didn't have. I hope I didn't have right. less than six. Because this guy's a fucking asshole. Final mission. Oh. Holy crap. That's not the Earth. He has three forms. Oh, there it is. He has three forms, copy. They had to put the moon there, too, just so you know. It's not really good. Nice. Right. Now, when you reflect it, does that damage him if it goes back at him? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, oh. Holy shit. <laughs> this is awesome. See, right now, I can't, I can't do any damage. The variety is amazing, though. <laughs> it's really cool. So, I only use that bomb to get the sex one. And hopefully, he's going to be going into us. See? Safe. You are dead center. Yeah, you still... have to be. You have to be. De you're safe there. What the hell? All right. That's cool. So I need to focus because his hand attacks like okay. cover the whole screen. Shit. Damn it! You know, there's the door. I never. I didn't know. Go. There's another move. I'm not gonna use it because he's probably gonna kill me now. He has a heart on his hand. You know, what's that targeting thing when you're shooting it? That's, blue. That, that's just means he's blocking you. I don't know why he's blocking me all the time. This is too bad. This is. I can't imagine why. This is a 
only somewhat difficult. Fuck! Okay, yeah, because that aims t towards you, so... He should be dead. That was pretty okay. So that was uh, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. Pretty fun game. You have to like watch like all the credits before you can put in your high score. That's why like the high scoreboard isn't like all me because it's like I have to sit around for five minutes <laughs> watching the unskippable fucking things just to put my goddamn name at the end. So yeah, <laughs> I don't have the time, and I'm probably not now because that was a pretty shitty score. I took my team against a failed dream. I send my tears of unfulfilled dreams to all the people who live for the sacrifice of living in the void between the past and the future of this vast universe. Yes. Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. It's a uh, rad game. It, it, it is. I mean, it's the only one for 64. You can get it for cheap. If you're a Shmup fan, definitely check this one out. Like, if you're a Star Soldier fan. Like, I never played Super Star Soldier, because you guys know I don't collect for the Super. Yeah. But I do I do enjoy it for the for the NES. I'm sure you have it for the Super. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Do you have it for either? I don't think so. It's pretty good. But you have the PSP version. I have the PSP version. That's and awesome. Balls. It's one that you have to, like, hold the PSP vertical to play, right? Yeah. And you steer with this, and then this is your trigger. So yeah. like you oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you play like this. Or you can like hold it like this and this is the trigger and then you steer like this. Ultra violence mode. You get used Jeez. to it, but it's it's, it's really weird. difficult. Yeah. I may have to borrow that sometime. It's pretty awesome. Maybe when I go up to uh, see you in uh, Chicago, I'll borrow it. Yeah, so it's a Japanese only. Yeah, release. Japanese only. We didn't get it here. And uh, unfortunately they didn't port it to the iOS or anything, so it would be great. I would love to see more Star Soldier. What about you, Ness? Yeah, absolutely. What about you, Potato? Okay. All right. Uh, well, I meant, like, they should release more Star Soldier games. Not that I'm going to play more. <laughs> but there is, a bo there is a bonus video of just me before these two assholes came, and he started far enough to play, so... So, yeah. So, that was uh, Star Soldier Bash Earth in 64. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the Let's Discuss. We're going to talk about all the games we played and uh, all that stuff. Awesome. Okay. So, I'm going to let I'm gonna let these two check it out so they know... You, know, you understand the hitbox and the enemies and stuff just a little bit before we talk about it. So, cool. And we're gonna set up. I'm down. See you in the next sick video. With stuff. In the next portadio. In the in the in this in the SNES portadio. <laughs> <laughs>